So, if you read the title, yep, we're talking about wolverines today. There are a lot of animals that uh, we would like to add to the game, but wolverines are special. They are famous, or infamous maybe, for being fierce and feisty and kind of take no prisoners mentality. They were named originally because they do kind of remind you of a wolf, but they're actually a kind of weasel, which if you know weasels, fierce and feisty, it's no surprise, but wolverines have these claws. Wait, no, not these claws, these claws, which give them something to back up their fierceness and feistiness with. And are always fierce and feisty. These wolverines at the Minnesota Zoo just want to play together. But you know, out in the wild, they're solitary. If food is scarce, they will do what's necessary. But they're very hard to spot in the wild. They have very large territories. A male wolverine can have a territory up to 400 square miles. That's a thousand square kilometers. They've generally not been seen throughout Yellowstone. So we haven't wanted to put them into our game maps, except in two areas of Yellowstone. A survey in 2009 found a handful of wolverines in the southeast corner and just extending down from the northern border right right where our new hell roaring mountain map is so we had to take advantage of that and bring wolverines into this map only in the game so how do wolves and wolverines interact dan staler head of the yellowstone wolf project and one of our game advisors has never actually seen a wolverine in the park has seen tracks from the air and one was photographed on a trail cam just downstream from Hell Roaring Mountain. But competition at carcasses is the most likely thing and in fact in Denali National Park in Alaska one of their trail cams captured this incredible fight between a wolf and a wolverine over a carcass. There is no evidence of wolverines killing wolf pups doing den raids like grizzlies and cougars and coyotes do in the game. So we are currently not going to be putting that in. If evidence does surface, we'll reconsider that. The Wildlife Society also recently published this article about wolves in Alaska killing wolverines, most likely over resources. And so, here is our happy little wolverine galloping along on the slopes of Hellroaring Mountain. Wolverines have an outstanding sense of smell, so if there's a carcass out there, this is where you'll most likely find wolverines on the Hellroaring map. And this is where they turn from these uh, cute cuddly animals with big claws into a pretty scary, uh, pretty scary beast. They've got the claws and they know how to use them. If you attack them from the front, they'll often flip over and use all four sets of claws on your throat and head. And they've also got a neat little diving maneuver to get under your belly and rip you up there. And whoops, so keep an eye on your health or you'll end up like I did here. So you'll want to keep an eye out for wolverines. They live up in the northern, the higher elevation areas. They like the, the rugged and the cold. They're, they're not hibernators there. They're active year round. So again, low population density. Not real common, but they're out there in the upcoming Hell Roaring Mountain DLC map. What is this map? It's an expansion DLC map, totally optional. You don't need it to play the game. It has all the features of the main game maps. Mountains and rivers and creeks and valleys. Lots of elk and other animals, except for one. There are no beavers on this map because the topography, there's just no slow meandering creeks here for beavers to dam up and, and build their ponds. We were hoping there might be a few spots, but check with Dan Staler and he said they really don't live here. So you can see the Wolverine as a compensation for the lack of beavers here. So this new map is shaping up and uh, we do expect to really set this spring.